What's going on guys, Michael Lee here, your Realtor of the Palm Beach is back with another video for you guys today. We are going to be in the city of Palm Beach Gardens, checking out the subdivision Palm Beach Gardens Estates. To all my subscribers, welcome back. And if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Michael Lee, your Realtor of the Palm Beaches, and it's my job to help you guys find the best hidden gems in Palm Beach County, whether that's a $5 million home on the ocean or a beautiful town home in the middle of the city. Instead of subscribing to the channel, you guys can stay updated on new neighborhood tours as well as property tour. Now, just some background information about Palm Beach Gardens Estates. It is a collection of 394 homes. All of them are going to be single story ranch style homes built between the late 1960s, early 1970s, and even some up into the mid 1970s. Now, some of these homes have seen renovations in the early 2000s and upwards of this year, but most of the homes were built and the community was built during the 60s and 70s. Now, the property we're gonna check out today is going to be a single story ranch style home, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and it spans just over 1900 square feet in total under air. So it's gonna be a pretty large home. And another interesting fact about this home is that it qualifies for the Hometown Heroes program. Now, if you aren't familiar with the Hometown Heroes program, it's a program dedicated for first time home buyers for down payment assistance upwards to $25,000. And it's going to benefit individuals who live and work within the community. So if you work in Palm Beach Gardens or the surrounding area, this is gonna be a program that's gonna benefit you to live and work in the area and improve the surrounding area as a whole. So without further ado, let's check out three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1,900 square feet. Let's go. Alright guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're going to check out this three bedroom, two bathroom home. It's exactly six feet over 1900 square feet. Now we are in the living room slash dining room. And what's interesting about this property from what I've toured previously is there are kind of two separate, I want to say living spaces where you can kind of have a dining room slash living room. I'm not really sure if you would choose to do either one of those things in each side, but you do have the main living space where I'm standing, right? And so if we go immediately to my right, this is an additional space with the front facing window as well with a ceiling fan. Now this is just off the kitchen. So ideally I would think you could put a large dining room table or since I'm looking for outlets, maybe, I'm not really sure. This would kind of be maybe a flex space um, where you could maybe put a couch, television, dining room table, but you do have space for a dining room on the other side of the space as well. But since this is directly off the kitchen, this could kind of be something where you could kind of stay connected, maybe have a nice little bar set up. I'm not really sure. It, it, that's why I really call it a flex space. Um, because there's a number of different things that you can do. So, since we're on this side, we're gonna to continue to walk through the kitchen. Now, the kitchen is a alley slash galley kitchen, meaning it's straight through, there's no real L shape to the kitchen, it's just a galley kitchen, straight line. You have your classic granite countertops, stainless steel sink, stainless steel appliances, Cabinets are semi soft close as well. They don't close all the way soft close. But everything has been renovated in this property, including the roof, brand new AC. And like I said before in the beginning of the video, this property does qualify for the Hometown Heroes program. So you can get up to $25,000 in closing cost assistance if you live and work within the community, which is nice which is nice. Palm Beach Gardens is an amazing community and city. So as we walk through the kitchen, this would be what I would consider your dining area. As you can kind of see, they have a light straight down. You can be right off the kitchen, small little dining room table where you guys can have the kids here, maybe even an L-shaped kind of 
pub style table if you need to, to maximize space. Now, as we continue on to the other side of the living room slash dining room, you do have another one of these flex spaces. Now, I'm not really sure if this was a continuation of the garage, but it doesn't look like this was a garage conversion from what I can tell. Um, this just looks like this was an add-on. And you do have a wall unit for some additional AC because it's not included in the original AC of the house. So it looks like this was an add-on, but beautifully done. You have access to the backyard, similar to the other side as well. And you, you do have some storage space in the back. So storage space on both sides of these flex spaces now. Like I said, these flex spaces, they offer a ton of natural light. Um, there's one little ceiling fan light on, but other than that, it's really just the natural light in here. And it's a ton of space in the beginning. So you do have separation from the main living area, the dining area, and the additional flex space on the other side. So you can be real, real creative with this home here. I haven't really seen much like those in the home tours that I've been doing. So it's pretty unique. Now through this hallway here, you're gonna have the three bedrooms. Like I said, this probably is three bedroom, two bath, and the two bathrooms are on this wing. You do have one bathroom for the two bedrooms as well as guests if you need be. Now they do have a large vanity, which looks like it was built for two vanity, but they only included one. Maybe it's a plumbing issue, I'm not sure. But they do have two mirrors set up. So in case somebody's getting ready in the morning, you do have space for you to look at yourself in the mirror while the other person is brushing their teeth, whatever, whatever you do in the morning. Tub, combo, the shower, pretty straightforward, tiled all the way up to the ceiling. Now, on my immediate left is the first of the three bedrooms. I think this would be the smallest of the three. So, large window, allowing a ton of natural light. This house does get great natural light. Closet, as you can see, with some additional storage on top. Ceiling fan, although I'm a tall man, it does have me almost in my head on the ceiling, so I don't know if this is tall man certified. Additional storage. Like I said, in a home, you can never have too much storage. So you do have additional storage in the flex spaces in the beginning, storage in the hallway, and storage in the bedrooms. HVAC, like I said, this has been replaced this year. Brand new HVAC, brand new roof, two key things. Second bedroom here, which is a little bit larger, backyard facing, with two windows, ton of natural light. Same closet format as the first bedroom. Pretty straightforward. You just have a little bit more space. Now, we're going to check out the primary bedroom with access to the backyard with double French doors, as well as one window here, allowing, again, ton of natural light. And you have a little bit more closet space for the primary. So you do have a little bit of a ledge. Maybe you can change it out, do a Ikea pack system in there if need be, if you wanted to. And then right in the primary bedroom is the bathroom. So the bathroom's pretty straightforward. Vanity, sink, mirror, and stand-up shower. Now, if you wanted to, you can maybe put a barn door glass door for some separation and if you did not want to do a shower curtain just to add some more aesthetics some more clean and clean look to the bathroom but tiled all the way up to the ceiling similar to the first bathroom that we just saw so with that being said let's check out the backyard space all right welcome to the backyard guys you have a covered patio in the backyard with a ceiling fan which is always nice I just left from out of the primary suite, but those double French doors there are from one of the flex spaces in the living room that we just toured. So you do have dual access to the backyard. You do have some different styled stoneway as you do have access from the front to the backyard. So if you are having a small gathering in the back, you can just walk straight through. You don't have to enter the household if you don't want guests to enter. Now this backyard is uniquely shaped as they do have some additional space 
walking around to the side of the backyard. So that is just a covered patio space, but you do have some additional backyard space in the backyard as well. You do have a few trees, you can trim it up, have the grass, nice little walkway. And you do have an additional storage shed because like I always say, you can never have too much storage in a home. As we check out the storage shed, you've seen one storage shed, you've seen them all. Maybe lawn equipment, maybe dad's work shed. And there is the second French doors from the other side of the flex space that we saw earlier. So you have three access points from outside the house to the backyard. So you do have some additional patio space here and it goes around almost like a U-shape for your backyard. So you kind of have two separate parties going on if you need it to. While you have one side has the shade with the fan and the other side has some sunshine. And then the backyard just have your main area for the grass. So if you guys have lasted this long to the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.